see, I'm gonna be talking about the Michael Kors Hamilton Legacy satchel. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm thinking this video may be a little bit long, so I will have timestamps below just in case you want to skip around. I totally understand. So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a comparison to the original bag that I bought, which is the large one. And I have several videos on this particular bag. I'll go ahead and link them down below as well as in cards up above just in case you want to see exactly what fits. Um, how it looks on my body frame and things like that. However, I think I will kind of try on all of the bags in this video so you can see what it looks like on my body frame. So let's go ahead and just quickly, let me just show you this one. Okay, so this is the Hamilton Legacy Large. Okay, and as you can tell, I have been wearing it. All right, and it has held up really well. And when I carry this purse, um, it's typically when I go places where I like to carry a lot of stuff. Um, even It can even fit um, my Mac um, laptop, but it's only 13 inches. Um, so it can fit that. It's got a lot of space, as you can see. Okay, and this part right here actually unlocks. It's a spring, and then you turn it, okay, and then this is actually a front pocket. So it's got a lot of cool compartments, I think. Um, I guess the only con that I would have with this particular bag is that if you do like to carry a lot of stuff, okay, by the bag already being large, and then if you carry a lot of stuff, it can get pretty weighted. But you do have a strap that goes along with it, and it's also got feet at the bottom. It's a really nice bag, and um, I think I've had it a little over a year, and I think that it has held up really good so I'm just gonna let you see um, how it looks and this is with about a year's worth of wear on it okay so now let's talk about this one right here this one is the Hamilton Legacy small belt belted satchel and the measurements on this is 12.5 uh, in the width 7.5 in the height and 4.75 in the depth and, and the handle strap is 5.4 so I want to just kind of go ahead and actually measure this to see if it's actually if it actually matches what the website is saying so it's saying that the width is 12.5 okay yep it's measuring let's see if I can show you all so it is measuring in at 12.5 in the width and the depth, it says 7.5, let's see, 7, and it's actually 7.5, let me see if I can show you all, and there it is, and I'm sure you can't see it, but <laughs> trust me, it's actually saying that, um, and then the depth is 5.7, I mean, excuse me, 4.75, yep, okay, thank you. I have something in this purse. That's the only reason why I didn't show you all uh, that uh, measurement. But this is the small size, and when you put it up against the larger one, you can you can really see that it is a smaller size. Okay. And the things that can fit in this purse right now are. I have a Michael Kors wallet, a pack of gum, some lotion, napkins, little earbuds, a bottle of perfume, Advil, my wallet that I keep my keys in. So here it is. Okay, and again, you do get this little spring lock in the front, just like the big one. You turn it, it comes apart. Let's see, just like that. There you have the pocket, and I can actually fit my entire hand. So you get the middle zip pocket right here, and the zipper is really nice. It doesn't get caught or anything. And just like on the bigger one, it does have the Michael Kors little symbol. And in the back part, you get a pocket, and then you get two card slots right here. And then if you go to the front, this is what it looks like in the front. 
and you get your straps, which is adjustable, and you also have the feet right here. So this is another one that um, it's really, it doesn't feel all that weighted, but once you start adding all your items, if you add too much, it can get, or it will, just like anything else, it will feel a little bit heavy, but this is the Hamilton Legacy Small Satchel. All right, and last up is the Hamilton Legacy Extra Small Satchel. So let me just pull this one up. This is what it looks like against the small. This is the extra small, so if you're put to put it in front, that's what it looks like. And then you grab the large. This is what the extra small looks like in front of the large. Okay, so let's talk about this one. On the website, it says um, it's 10 inches in width, six inches in height, and four by and 4.25 in depth. And it also has a three inch um, drop right here. So the thing about this one is, unless you have really tiny arms, you're not gonna be able to, I guess, take it in the crook. Okay, um, on my arm, it can go about halfway before it starts to feeling like it's stuck. This one is made out of leather too. And it's got the same, um, everything is functional on this bag. Uh, just like with the other one so this one it has a spring lock it can open as well and then you get the pocket the only thing with the pocket on this one i can get about that much half of my hand in. so and there's that and even with the hardware on this particular bag the zipper is exactly the same um, all of it is really exactly the same as the larger bag. It's got the feet at the bottom. You get the zipper compartment directly in the middle. In the back part, you get those two, the one big card slot, and then you get two right below it. See right there where it actually has a snap closure. And then you have that front compartment again that has the snap closure. So I'm going to take measurements. And when it says 10 inches, it's actually from this point to this point. So when you're trying to decide if you need a purse that actually has 10 inches, actually you're gonna have to shave off about maybe two inches on either side. This part, you almost can't utilize it, the part that's sticking out right here. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let's go ahead and see. Now it's probably about nine and a quarter inches. It says that it's 10 inches, 10 inches comes all the way out to here. So I don't, wouldn't agree with that part. The height, it says it's six inches. Let's go ahead and check that. So I hope you can see that it's not quite six inches. And then for the depth, it says it is 4.5. No, definitely not. Maybe three and a half inches at the bottom. So if you're looking for a small handbag that has the measurements that this one has, don't go by that. You're gonna have to shave off maybe about a half an inch, almost to two half, uh, almost to two inches. Um, so anyway, you can't you can't really fit a lot of stuff in here. For example, this wallet can fit, okay. However, as you can see, it's a tight fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that up. What else do I have in here? Take my phone. My phone slips slips in really good. What else do I have in here? Now, this wallet right here does not fit. It will not fit at all. So just a regular size wallet is not gonna fit, it's too small. Bottle of lotion. Mm. Yeah, it can get in there. Let me see what else I have in here. 
earbuds that got in there nicely Advil see that's probably it and I think in the front like if you're carrying a large amount of cash that you don't want easily accessible um, you could put it in the front slot I think that's probably what could go in that area but that is it this is the extra small Hamilton legacy handbag so I'm gonna go ahead and do some mod shots and kind of show you how each bag looks on my body frame and I'll be right back <laughs> 